In our rapidly evolving world, success is defined by turning challenges into opportunities. With enough foresight and ingenuity, the complex problems of today can become the achievements of tomorrow. I'm Fred Thompson. From business and technology to healthcare and the environment, join me as we take a closer look inside the workings of the modern global economy. Welcome to Inside Business. I'm Fred Thompson, and I'm Inside Business. Perhaps no other industry exerts as great a global economic influence as the oil and gas industry. From energy to transportation to countless consumer goods, petroleum continues to impact every human life. Let's take a closer look at recent developments in this vital industry. Oil. Its consumption and high demand exists in our everyday lives, while its production remains a sticky business. We continue to rely on OPEC, and we put our energy security at risk, say the critics. Produce it ourselves, environmentalists say, and we put America the beautiful in jeopardy. You know, ultimately the goal is to find a cheap, clean, renewable energy source. That's something just about everybody should be able to agree on. But reality is, at least in the short term, that most of our cars and industries run on gas and even consumer goods like plastics continue to be a petroleum-derived product. So any technology that maximizes our ability to produce petroleum domestically in a cost-effective way with the least harm to our environment possible remains in a sexual goal. The TSW Energy Company near Abilene, Texas, services many stripper wells wells that strip crude from underground formations at a rate averaging less than 10 barrels a day, which seems like nothing, but goes a long way. Appearances can be deceiving. Taking into account there are over 700,000 oil and gas stripper wells being pumped in the United States today. The sum total of oil produced in them exceeds 291 million barrels a year. That accounts for approximately 28% of the lower 48 states' oil production. Gas wells produced 1 trillion 700 million MCF in 2007. So these stripper wells are a vital part of America's energy puzzle. And it's here that Hyper Scratcher and TSW is having the greatest impact. The J.J. Perkins lease has five stripper wells producing a total of one and a half to two barrels of oil a day. Well Grounded and TSW Energy were contracted to treat all five wells using the Hyper Scratcher tool and a chemical treatment plant. The lease has leveled off at an average of three and a half barrels a day, with work to be done on three more wells. Petroleum is prized for its stickiness and viscosity. But the gummy buildup that accumulates deep inside oil and natural gas wells is something altogether different. On this day, workers have removed the pump jack and pipes that raise crude oil from deep inside the well. A bit and scraper has been sent down the well bore to recover a sample of the material engineers believe is blocking the flow of crude to the surface. This is an example of, of the buildup that occurs in a lot of the well bores of oil and gas and disposal wells. Sampling this is the first, the buildup is the first step in the process that we use to service these wells and restore them to their previous flow rates and sometimes more. Then it's time for the hyper scratcher to go to work. This is the hyper scratcher. It's made of stainless steel, has 25 wire brushes, 36 jets where the breakup solution will be released under high pressure. 1200 PSI at the surface, the hyper scratcher moves through the well bore scrubbing and the perforations and points of collection to break up the obstruction for restricting the flow of crude. It's a relatively simple tool, but highly effective. Simple, effective, and cost effective, according to a well-grounded client. We started with the uh, the observation of the hyper scratcher and TSW's chemicals. On other wells we've treated, we've had some really good response from a half barrel to three to four barrels a day. So we're trying on this lease with these wells because we have the same process here with scaling and build up trash. And with the result we had on the other wells, I'm looking forward to seeing this well and this lease perhaps double our production or certainly increase it from the half a barrel, barrel a day to the same response we got before at two to three barrels a day. You know, we've had great success. Oil wells were producing approximately 250% more. Gas wells are producing 80% more. The disposal wells are 
approximately 66% more efficient. Even though it's impossible for any of us to make a guarantee, so far we've had a 100% success rate. The tools and vendors say their technology is making the best of an otherwise sticky situation. 